Ready? All right, guys. Next, I get this question a lot, and I was it took me a long time to actually get consistent answers on this because I've been studying perfect senses for God knows how long, right? Uh, even uh, me and my biology professor, not professor, but supervisor. But anyway. Uh, these, this is the most consistent data on protein sentences, right? Because once again, you gotta look. You can't look at three, four, five studies or research or textbooks and then draw a conclusion, right? You gotta look at a lot of these bitches because there's so many uh, differences and you know factors involved. This guy then they use that. What kind of method does this guy use? Whatever. So based on the hundreds of fucking things I looked at, that's the most consistent data. You don't believe me? Go ahead and look it up yourself. So this for my science nerds, All right? Protein sentences. How long does it last, right? Now you gotta understand the the Two main types of protein sensors, right? There's training induced protein sensors, meaning your body starts synthesizing protein because of training, and there's meal induced protein sensors. That's the low peak you get in muscle building after you eat a, a high protein, um, uh, high protein meal. So let's look at each of them independently, right? Once again, I'm hoping you did not skip the other episodes and got straight to this, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna use a lot of terminology that you're not gonna understand. Watch the first ones. I try to make them short as possible. So, pretty much, you tear the muscle down by your fucking um, bicep curl. The cell lysis proliferate, protein synthesis starts, blah, 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 blah. More nuclei in the muscle, the muscle cells are bigger. Protein synthesis made this whole shit happen. mTOR was responsible, cell lysis cells were responsible, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure in other videos. So, training in those protein synthesis, how long does it last? The most consistent data on it, based on all the stuff, is 24 hours, right? Now, some say 48, but that's very, very, very rare. Like, most people, I'm assuming you've been training for a while now. I'm not, this is the data for people who've been training for a while. If you're new, things are a little different, right? The longer you've been training, the the smaller that window is, right? And so when you're a beginner, guys, you grow so fast. After a while, you're like, man, I look the same for six months. So anyway, I'm assuming you're not a new, right? So this data is based on regular uh, people that train. Where you going, baby? Give me a second, all right? Give me one second. So, all right, so let's say you train on Monday at 5 p.m., right? As soon as you finish training, you go home, you start eating, whatever. Protein sensitive is going to happen anyway, but the training increased it. Give it a little a little peak. You see this right here? And this thing only lasts up to 24 hours. It peaks at around 24 hours. In fact, for some people, it's even less than 24 hours, depending on how long you've been lifting. And I'm assuming you're natty. By Tuesday at 5 p.m., so let's say you did chest. That's what I do full body workouts, guys. Let's say you do chest on Monday. Now, this is a fact. You do chest on Monday at 5 p.m., right? After you train, you come home, you start eating, blah, blah, blah. You get that, that extra protein synthesis boost from training, you know, 6, 7, 8, you go to bed, blah, 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 look at the next day. By Tuesday at 5 p.m., you 99.9% .9 guarantee that protein synthesis from the training is down. Especially, I'm talking about your chest, obviously. Say, you know, say you hit chest. Say you hit back, same thing, right? By Tuesday at 24 hours later, once again, this is, I put this sign, it means about 24 hours later, it's done. So that's why I want to say how people train on Monday, right? Hey, like, let's hit chest on Monday, and wait Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and hit chest again. Now, I'm not saying that's not going to work for you. Of course it's going to work, because you're getting some kind of protein synthesis. But it's going to take you a lot longer to see results. That's why everyone that I work with, everyone asks me, how did Mohammed get big so quick? How did Lazy Lion get big so quick? You know, how did Hansa get big so quick? How did we get big so quick? Because we understood that principle. That That's, once again, science and both science, right? You got to look for where they agree. You cannot hit a muscle once a week unless you have really good genetics. Your set of life cells are through the roof and expect to see tremendous gains long term, right? If eventually, if you've been training for like you know seven, eight, nine, ten years, yes, by doing this every Monday, you're gonna be you know you're gonna get big. But the guy who's doing that shit three times a week or more is gonna keep having that boost, right? So instead of him going from this to Tuesday and dying here on Tuesday, he keeps bringing it back up, right? I don't understand how it's basic evolution, basic adaptation. Your body adapts to meet a demand, right? If you only attack it once a week, right, on your own, your body's gonna think, okay, you know, as long as I'm big enough or strong enough to handle that stress once a week, I'm good to go. But anyway, so 24 hours, right? And I'm gonna make a separate video explaining why it's only 24 hours. A lot of things are involved: mechanical growth, um, mechanical growth factor. Uh, the duration of protein synthesis, mTOR, blah blah blah. So just know that it's around 24 hours or even less for some people. The longer you've been training, if you're one of the lucky motherfuckers that's 48 hours, then good for you. But even 48 is that's that's pushing it, right? Unless you're on steroids, then Monday through Friday you're fucking growing. All right. So get this out of the way. Training induced protein synthesis, 24 hours. Meal induced protein synthesis. That's the second thing that gives you a little boost in protein synthesis when you eat a high protein meal. Protein synthesis goes up even if it was already activated, right? And that, based on all the fucking data, all agrees around three hours, right? So let's say you eat a meal at eight o'clock in the morning, high protein meal, you know, you know, whatever, high calorie meal. Protein synthesis goes up, 
8, 9, 10 by 11, you guarantee that that curve goes right back down, that sine curve. So three hours, around four hours, if you're, you're put, if you're natty and you get a high protein meal and you get that, that, that spike, by the four hour mark, it's done. Now, the f interesting thing is they actually tried to see what would happen if you just kept infusing a motherfucker with protein all day long. What would happen? Same thing happened. Even if you get a meal at eight, and somehow you just keep eating all fucking day long, just non-stop, right? They, they tried about amino acid infusion around the three hour, four hour mark, right? Like around here, protein synthesis goes back down, right? So a lot of people say, well, maybe it's because of the, you know, the AMP concentrations, low energy levels and things like that. Some say it's because of the change. Some people, the theory that, that I actually like the most is the theory that says that it's because your, your cells, I'm told, senses the change in amino acid level, right? So let's say your cell has no protein, then protein knocks on the door, it starts to do protein synthesis. And if protein is still knocking on the door, it just keeps going and stops. It's only when uh, when protein stops knocking on the door that it waits for a new stimulus. So there's different theories, but you don't have to worry about that. Just know that no matter what the theory is, around the three hour mark, the boost you got from your meal goes down, right? Um, now I'm not, once again, I'm just giving you guys the facts, right? You can interpret that however you want. Just know that training induced protein synthesis, local protein synthesis, 24 hours. Meal induced, about three hours. Now you understand why I recommend higher frequency, in quotes, over training, as most people call it, even though it's not fucking over training. All right, guys, next video. Yo, yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> that's just anyway, being a lazy person. So, I still so am, I, I like, and let's, I let's, believe that lazy people have the most potential out of every right. human being on the planet. Like the, the fact that we're gonna be so lazy because the we just, first one is we, we, we have to believe it or not.